What is up guys, it's your boy Mr. Dion back for another video. We have the little tractor in the garage today because we want to upgrade this thing so it goes even faster than it was in the previous video. We hit 50 miles an hour in the previous video, but for today's video I want to hit 70 miles an hour at least. In order to get insane speeds out of a lawnmower, you need to put a small pulley on the transaxle and a super big pulley on the engine. But with such a small pulley you ran into a lot of belt problems. The belt will slip, the belt will overheat, the belt will explode. Too much problem with this. Instead of changing our gear ratio with pulleys, we are going to change our gear ratio directly in the transmission with a three quarter shaft with sprockets and a chain. So that will allow us to put a 5 inch transaxle pulley so we won't have to deal with belt problems anymore. A stock transaxle looks like this. You have this huge gear and this super small gear. This is forward, this is reverse. So I remove everything from the case and these are all the parts we need to modify the transaxle. I actually bought the wrong size sprockets three times. First time I bought a 24 teeth sprocket with a 13 teeth sprocket and it wouldn't fit in the transaxle case. I returned the sprocket and got myself a 21 teeth sprocket. Now it fits in the transaxle with this 21 teeth sprocket. But we still have a problem right here. The gears are hitting each other. This is a 13 teeth sprocket. Obviously, we don't want this gear to be bigger than this one because otherwise the gear ratio will be too freaking fast. So obviously a 10 teeth sprocket would solve the problem. Keep in mind that this is a 5 8 shaft and this is a 3 quarter shaft. So I just received from Amazon this 10 tooth sprocket, but it's a 3 quarter shaft sprocket. So basically this is the gear ratio we need to deal with because I'm not buying another sprocket. So we now have a one-to-one -one gear ratio in the transaxle. So let's try to make this work. So here you go guys, everything is completed. I welded some lock colors so the shaft won't slide out of the transaxle. I also welded both sprockets. So I removed the 13 teeth sprocket and I put the 10 tooth sprocket that was on the shaft. Now we have a 21 tooth sprocket right here and a 10 tooth sprocket right here. The way I made this 3 quarter shaft sprocket fit on this 5 8 shaft, I put a 5 8 sleeve in that 3 quarter sprocket and welded the crap out of it. Now this gear ratio makes more sense. It is working like a charm. So now we can swap our 2 inch pulley for a 5 inch pulley. Here you go guys, we have the 5 inch pulley welded on that input shaft. So now that the transaxle is completed, we can now work on the wheels. So these are the wheels and tires we are going to install on the modified transaxle. Putting these aggressive tires on the modified transaxle will allow us to drive the mower during winter time. The width of a stock transaxle is 34 inches. But I'm gonna make this transaxle way much wider than the stock one. We are talking about 10 inch wider. The next day. My transaxle is ready for a test ride, but before that, I want y'all to have a look at this beast. Here we go guys, we are finally ready to test this thing. Let's go! Y'all can't understand how freaking fun these machines are to drive. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm nervous because it is well possible that something jams in the transaxle and breaks everything. Let's just pray that it won't happen. So we have the speedometer in miles an hour right here. We are trying to break our record of 50 miles an hour on this try. Let's go guys, it's actually time. Let's start this beast. <laughs> Look at this guys, the bigger rear pulley actually solved a problem that I had for a long time. The clutch actually works this time, so I can stop when I want to stop. We are now in forward, pray that everything is going to work. Oh 
Oh my god, the gear ratio is way too big. I can feel it already. Oh my god. It's way too big. Oh shit, there's a car coming. This engine won't be strong enough to push that gear ratio. Oh my god. Let's try this. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We hit 46 miles an hour, which is actually 4 miles an hour slower than the previous video. Bruh. Okay, this engine is not strong enough. We need more power. The steering on this is sketchy. Oh my god. I'm on plastic bushings, okay? Remember. Let's go. 40 miles an hour. Going uphill. What the fuck? Oh my god, slow down, slow down, slow down, what? Wow! Oh my god, the backfires! Oh my god, it's rough out here! Oh shit, the dog! Wait, wait, get the fuck up! Thank god the freaking transmission works like a charm! That was my biggest concern, not gonna lie! <rire> Comment? Ouais, j'ai changé mon ratio de transmission. Ça glisse pas, puis en plus de tout ça, euh, fait moins de son. Puis j'ai pu mettre une plus grosse poulie, puis à ce temps, quand je pince la cloche, j'arrête. Puis je peux décoller quand je veux. Okay. C'est bien moins de gossage, je, je peux décoller quand que je veux, puis arrêter. Avec. 47 000 à l'heure, j'ai pogné 3 000 à l'heure de moins que l'autre vidéo, mais c'est parce que le ratio est tellement gros. Bro, I just broke the clutch! The clutch is not working anymore! <laughs> the happiness this thing brings to me is unmatched! So we did not reach 70 miles an hour with this setup right here. But one thing's for sure, we didn't run into any issues with the belts and pulleys. But we still want to reach 70 miles an hour. In order to reach those speeds, I think we need a bigger engine. 20 horsepower, twin cylinder engine the next day so i engine swapped the mower off camera here we have the 14.5 hp engine we were rocking with yesterday i am going to keep it as a spare engine but now it's time to show y'all the mower with that new engine it looks so freaking badass jesus christ Here you go guys, we are ready for the second and final test ride of this video. Hopefully we will break that record of 50 miles an hour with this big engine. As you can see guys, the front of the mower is way higher than the rear end. These go-kart hubs will solve the problem and make this thing way much safer. We cannot install these on the mower right now because this will mount right here so the wheel will sit higher and the exhaust is in the way. In a future video we need to make these exhausts shorter so we can put these on the mower. I'm still on plastic bushings trying to hit 70 miles an hour with this thing. These clips are the only reason why the wheel stays on the mower. It is a little bit more complicated to start this mower right now. With this engine, we don't have a starter. We have a pulley and a rope. The hood falls by itself. And I need to push the clutch while doing all of that. It is kind of complicated. Let's go! I have goosebumps and butterflies in my freaking stomach! Hopefully this engine is strong enough to reach 70 miles an hour. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god, this engine is way much stronger. I can already feel it. Bro, I'm barely touching the freaking throttle. Fuck, the belt is too big. Oh my god. Oh no, the belt slips. Bro, that belt is way too loose. 
Listen to this thing scream! Let's go guys, let's try this! Oh! miles an hour with a twin cylinder bro no way how is this even possible that a freaking twin cylinder can't reach more than a freaking one cylinder I am absolutely not gonna quit I want to reach more than 50 miles an hour so guys I changed the belt setup it is super tight right now what I am worried about right now is this thing will probably be so freaking hard to start since the belts are so tight. Oh, wait! It started right up! We absolutely need to break our record on this try. Otherwise, I don't know what to do, man. Maybe putting a YZ125 two-stroke engine in it with a chain. I don't know. This thing will pull like crazy off the start. I just can't actually believe that something broke in the transaxle. <sighs> I'm having so much problem right now with this thing off camera. Y'all just can't freaking imagine. This is what I found in the transaxle. A broken forward neutral reverse selector. It slides in there and engage the gear, but it's broken. We are screwed because I don't have a spare one. Maybe I could just weld the crap out of it. A few moments later. Look at this guys. We actually did this so freaking dirty. I welded the crap out of it, dude. With this 110 MIG. Let's cross our finger that this is going to hold in the transaxle. Without further ado, let's put everything back on the mower. I'm gonna give this thing a little push so I don't break the shift selector. Bro. I broke it. Fuck! Bro! <laughs> the gear selector is broken and it won't freaking hold in the transaxle. I'm just gonna weld this onto this shaft. So it'll be in forward 24-7. A few moments later. This thing will be super freaking sketchy to start right now. Since the belts are super tight and also the transaxle gear is welded onto the shaft, as soon as I start this thing, it'll go forward straight up. Let's go guys. Fuck. <laughs> One eternity later. Now that I have the transaxle fixed, we have a freaking bad part. I don't care, I'm gonna try to break that record with a bad part. This is actually the final try. Let's make it good.
So guys, the freaking thing is actually falling apart. Unfortunately, we did not hit more than 50 miles an hour in this video, which is really frustrating. But we actually passed the freaking truck at 50 miles an hour with this thing. We are actually not going to quit this challenge, guys. We are going to reach 70 miles an hour with this mower. It'll maybe happen in the next video. This video was actually so freaking fun to film, dude. But with that being said, I'll catch y'all in the next video.